You saw the first match. Uh, how did you enjoy that in Philadelphia? Well, it was tremendous. Uh, I was unprepared for the outpouring of interest from around the world. In all honesty, I thought it would be one article, then I would go home. I ended up staying for the entire match. And it's a good thing I did because uh, our readers were just fascinated by the, by the whole thing. Not just one match, but you know, the entire, not just one game, the entire match they were. Do you ca usually it. carry a lot of chess in USA Today? No, very little, very little. When Gary plays uh, Mr. Anon for the World Championship, we barely cover it. When he wins a tournament in Las Palmas, we'll barely cover it. But something like this, for some reason, people are just riveted by this computer playing, uh, computer chess playing machine that they and just tune in. And this time it's even worse, isn't it? This time it's even worse. This time the media has gone truly crazy and they have built this thing up to unprecedented proportions. But I think it's coming along at a moment when society is, is trying to figure out exactly what computers mean to them and how they want to use computers in the future and if there are any dangers to computers, to computerization which is going on now. So it's, uh, I think it reflects a lot of what's going on in society. I think the notion of a computer superseding human creativity has always been something that's been scary to humans and at the same time awe-inspiring. And you see it in movies like 2001 A Space Odyssey. You see it all through science fiction. Uh, and you, you see it in magazines like Wired. Uh, there's this sort of creeping computerization that's going on. You know, I think people are interested in what ultimately they can do. You know, and this is a good metaphor for that.